저 알았어요. 어떻게 부르는지 알았어요. 아무리 그래도 여기서 부르는 건좀 아니지 않니? 무서워요? 되게 좋으신 분들이라던데. 아부하지마. 신이 어딨냐며. 어디 계신가 해서 한번 와봤죠. 왜 불꽃으로 화를 안 가고 걸어가요? 여기선 안 돼. 일종의 비무장지대라고 생각하면 돼. 따라오진 말고. 제 소원은 어떻게 하실 건데요. 세계 중에 세 개가 해결 안 됐잖아요. 다 해결될 거야. 알바도. 말고요. 남자친구. 그건 너도 노력을 좀 해. In today's Korean culture, we're going to be talking about a mythological creature called 도깨비. 도깨비 are what we call Korean goblins. They have extraordinary powers and they always carry around this, this club called a 방망이. And so these mythological creatures, sometimes they play tricks on humans or sometimes they help them. And they have these powers so they can make gold come out of nowhere or they can turn into animals and then mess with humans. And they also have this thing called a 도깨비 감투, which is like a hat and it makes them invisible. So with all of these things, they can play a lot of different tricks or help people throughout the community. And so in this drama, 도깨비, right, the main character, 공유, is a 도깨비, that's why he has all these powers. And instead of this club, this 방망이, he has this sword that appears. So they made it a little cooler. Okay, in today's acting tip, we're going to be talking about the different shots on a camera. As you can see right now, this is a full shot. You can see everything from head to toe. This is a full shot. And in here, the camera angle is very, very back. So you can have a lot of movements in here. I can do a lot of movements and I won't be going off screen. Next is what we call a medium full shot or to the knees. And here, where there is a lot of freedom to move around also. But of course, you're not gonna be able to see your feet. So whatever you do with your feet, you're gonna have to bring it up here. Now we have the cowboy shot, which basically goes down to where my hands go down, to the thighs, middle of the thighs. And then we have the medium shot, right? Right where to about your waist is, so half your body. So nothing you do in the bottom half is gonna show, but you do have to stay still, right? Now we're here to the medium close-up shot, which is also known as the bust shot because it comes like right down to your chest. And here, your movements get a little restricted, right? Even your hand movements, you have to bring it in for it to show a little better. And I can't take steps or else I'll be going off screen, okay? Even just a little step, I'll be going off screen. It's only up to, if someone says, if the director says bust shot, then you have to remember it's only up to here. So your movements are a little limited. You can turn your head, that'll be okay, and give eye contact to different places, but beyond that, it's a little tough. Now we're at the close-up, right at my face. You can only see my face up to my neck. And so here, no movement, okay? You can move like this, maybe look up, but you can't even do this too much. And so now, this is where you can see like your pores and everything and where makeup is very important because camera these days are very high tech, right? And high definition. So you can see a lot of everything going on on your face, right? My skin sucks. Now we have the extreme close-up. You can basically just see my eyes and maybe a little bit of my nose. And in this scene, it's usually to show the eye reaction, what a person is looking uh, or feeling. They say the eyes is a window into the soul of a person. And oftentimes people, you can see how a person is feeling their emotions when you look at their eyes. So in the scene that we studied today or we, we looked at today, the main character has a lot of different cuts, different angles from the camera. So make sure to pay attention next Next time, which scene is what and what kind of acting you have to do based on the angle that you're at.